This video is going to look at three example problems involving percents. First problem it says there are approximately 76.2 million millennials in the US. Gallup reported that 20.1% of millennials are obese. How many US millennials are obese? So in this problem, they give us the total, which is 76.2 million millennials, and then they tell us a percentage of the total that are obese. So to calculate it, we need to figure out what is 20.1% of those 76.2 million millennials. To do this in Excel, we'll start off with an equal sign. Anytime we do math in Excel, we start with an equal sign. So we'll do 76.2 times the 20.1%. But in order to do a percent, we've got to move the decimal place two spots to the left. So that'll be 0 0.201. So we come up with an answer of 15.12. And this is in millions. So we could write it out as 15,316,200 millennials that are obese. All right, next example. This one says that Darcy raises goats and just sold 12% of her herd. If she sold 30 goats, how many were in her herd before the sell? So this one's a little bit different than the previous problem because we're not given the total in this one. We're trying to calculate the total. So what this problem is telling us is that we had our herd and then she sold 12% of it. And the 12% was equal to 30 goats. So you can think of it as if we have our herd and we calculated 12% of that herd, and we know that that is equal to 30. So this one's more of an algebra equation that we're going to have to solve to figure out what is that herd size. So we could say that, I'm just going to use h for my herd, times 12%, which again is 0.12, is equal to 30. So to figure out that herd size, we'll take our 30 and we'll divide it by the 0.12 to get the initial size of the herd which comes out to 250. And we could check this one. Now we have a total, which is 250. If we calculate 12% of that total, that should be equal to 30, which it is. So her initial herd started off with 250. Last example for this video. It says the average cost of tap water is 0 0.01 or one cent per gallon. Bottled water costs 12,000% more per gallon than tap water. What is the cost of bottled water per gallon? There's a couple different ways we could do this one, but I'm going to use the percent change that you can find in your book. So the definition in your book is the new value minus the old value divided by the old is equal to our percent change. Sometimes we call this our relative change. So in this case, we're going to use the cost of the tap water as our old value, because that's what we're referencing, that's the initial value we're given. And then we're comparing it to the new value, which is bottled water. We want to know what is the cost of bottled water. So we could set this one up saying that our bottled water cost, which we don't know, minus the cost per gallon of our tap water, divided by the old cost, which against the cost per gallon of our tap water, is equal to our percent change. And here's where you've got to be careful because you've still got to move that decimal place two spots to the left. So 12,000%, if we move it two spots to the left, is going to become 120. Probably the tricky part of this problem. So again, we have an algebra equation we've got to solve. In order to undo the division, we need to multiply both sides by 0.01. So if we take our 120 and multiply it times 0.01, that's going to give us a new right side of 1.2. See if I've got any more decimals. Oh, what am I doing? So it's just 1.2. So this tells us that bottled minus 0.01 is equal to 1.2. But we still have that subtraction in there. So to get rid of it, we need to add 0.01 to both sides. So the cost of our bottled water is going to be the 1.2 plus the 0.01, which is $1.21 per gallon. So if you drink tap water, you're paying a penny per gallon. If you're drinking bottled water, you're paying $1.21 per gallon. 